Fun fact, coffee is basically liquid cocaine. And what I mean by that is it's completely unnecessary in this world. You don't need coffee unless you've already drank coffee. Because the caffeine, it gets into your system and it rearranges your hormones. It, it imbalances your chemicals to the point that you feel like you need the coffee. Do you actually need it? No, not really. But it, your brain tells you that you need it. It sends signals that, hey, something is missing. Where is the caffeine? Same, thing, same way that nicotine does. But if you've never had coffee in your life, then you never need coffee. And I, honestly, if you're wondering, well, if that's the case, then why do so many people drink coffee? Well, here's the thing. It's societal pressure. In the same way that a lot of young boys know they'll never be a real man until they get laid. You know, a lot of kids grow up watching all of their parents and every single adult they know just chugging gallon after gallon of coffee every single day. And they know they won't be an adult until they drink coffee because all the big people drink coffee. So if I want to be a big people, I've got to drink coffee. So they start drinking coffee. But most of them, they have to force themselves to do it. Most people, when they, especially depending on how young they are when they start, the first sip of coffee is the most disgusting thing they've ever tasted in their lives. And then, like, they just, but they keep forcing themselves to drink it until the point that first they get used to it and then they come to rely on it. It's essentially the same thing as when, you know, your, your friend introduces you to someone and they're like, hey, he's not so bad once you get to know him. No, the fact is he's a jackass, but you get used to him. You get around him so much that you just, you just get used to him. You learn to accept that he's, yeah, it's just this jackass here. And then you're around him enough years that eventually you just, you get so accustomed to having him there that it feels weird to not have him there. Even though when you first met him, the one thing you wanted more than anything else was for him to just not be there anymore. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's, that's coffee in a nutshell. Now, me personally, I can't lie and say I've never had it in my life. I tried it when I was really, really young and it was disgusting. And it was one, and in order to make it so that I could drink it, I had to pour as much milk and sugar into that damn thing as I could. And I could still barely choke that coffee down. And so I just never got, and I just never really went back. I didn't enjoy it. I love tea. Drink tea all the time. But coffee, yeah. I've only had coffee really... I, honestly, I think the only time I've ever drank coffee is either someone brings it to me and I just don't want to waste it, but half the time I'll usually just tell them, hey, yeah, I don't like coffee and just give it to them, and they're like, oh, okay, more for me. But ma the majority of the time when I was drinking coffee was just in college, and that was because, I mean, there, there would be days when literally just, you know, like the, all week long, it's school in the morning, Walk at night, school in the, then school in the morning, walk at night, fit in homework wherever I can, and then you know, like wake up in the morning after like a two hour nap and had to get straight to class. And it's like, ah, I can't do it. And then you know, stop, stop by, you know, to stop by like Burger King or something on the way to school, get a croissant, which and a nice coffee. And even then, like, I don't think I've had more than three cups of coffee in a single month. And yeah, I haven't, yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't, I can't remember having a single cup of coffee since I finished college, which would have been 2014. So yeah, I just made this video to let you people know, you don't need coffee. You, no matter how much you think you need it, it's, it's an unnecessary thing. You really... It, if coffee disappeared from this world, like it wouldn't hurt future generations. In fact, it might help future generations.